Welcome to the second half of the sixth nonpartisan presidential debate. My name is Judy Frankel, moderator and founder of rightindependent.org. Today's debate is about Social Security, Medicare, and other civilian programs, and the Trans-Pacific Partnership Agreement. Each candidate will have one minute to answer my question, then the other candidates have one minute each for rebuttals. At my discretion, I will ask the candidates for an additional 30-second clarification. Candidates, please introduce yourself by name and website address, starting with Don. Okay, I'm Don Cordell, and of course my website address is doncordellforpresident.com. I'm... Uh, okay, uh, JL, go ahead. I'm JL Mueller. You can find me online at jlmuller.com. Did you change your website? You <laughs> yes, I did. Okay, jlmuller.com. And yeah. Santa, go ahead. Santa Claus at santaclausforpresident.com. Okay, we're going to start with JL. Would you support privatizing Social Security, and why or why not? Yes, I would. Um, although that would need to be phased out after about uh, 20 years at least, um, so that the people currently receiving SS continue receiving SS, um, privatizing and making it more of an option. Uh, an option to invest uh, would be the best route, simply because the government doesn't handle money all that well. And uh, currently, the uh, funds are being used to, uh, well, bomb people, kill people, and uh, poison Americans, and uh, we don't need that. That's it. Okay. Uh, Santa? Well, I'm going to take the minute to read what a good friend of mine wrote, because it kind of sums it up for me. hope you'll bear with me. He quotes, not only did you contribute to Social Security, but your employer did too. It totaled 15% of your income before taxes. If you averaged only $30,000 a year over your working life, that's $4,500 per year. Now, if you calculate the future value of the first year's $4,500 contribution, yours and your employer's, at a simple 5%, less than what our government pays on the money that it borrows, and then continue to add $4,500 the second year and so forth, after 49 years of working, you'd have about $987,000. You took out only 3% per year, you received 29610 per year. It would last you until you're age 98. However, if instead you took a monthly income of 4000 to live on and used the balance to buy an annuity that compounded at 4% per year, your Social Security fund would last a lifetime no matter how long you live. So the folks in Washington pulled off this nice little Ponzi scheme that Bernie Matt Murdoch made of, never would have thought of. And by the way, because Congress borrowed the money, doesn't make our benefits some kind of charity or handout. They've taken out over $2.2 trillion from Social Security. I'd like to see that back in the fund. Okay. And Don? Well, I wouldn't privatize Social Security because I remember when the stock market crashed and people had all these nice, beautiful certificates and they looked just beautiful to hang on the wall or paper your room with the certificates. I'm afraid the stock market will crash again and again. And while it may sound great that if you had private and you got 5% interest, the true inflation in America has been 7%. And if you look at the price of housing and cars, now I would believe in our government saying 2% a year. If you can tell me where I can go buy under Cadillac right now for $17,000, which is that price at two, that their so-called 2% interest since 1969. So, you know, while it sounds great that you might have $900,000, see, I remember when you could buy a house for $10,000. Now that house is 250000 So, by the time you've spent 40 or 50 years to retire that $900,000, it's just like going down to buy a loaf of bread. Where, where do you get bread for 10 cents a loaf anymore? It's two and a half to three dollars for a good bread. So, I have to look at what happens to this real inflation versus our real deposit that we're going to make in the Social Security so, and so Don, our country is bankrupt. The question is, you know, would you privatize Social Security? Oh. No. no, I don't believe we should privatize it because mm -hmm. that privatized uh, investments you're going to make can crash just like the stock market does. Okay, good, good point.